Good morning. It's uh, Saturday, March 21st, 2020. And um, I just want to remember some of the celebrities that I used to see when I lived in New York City uh, more than 40 years ago. Um, I remember one evening I was walking in Times Square with my friend uh, Ralph Seymour. And uh, I looked over my shoulder and, oh my goodness, there's Helen Hayes, the queen of the American theater. Um, tiny little old lady, I mean, it was quite a thrill. Um, and then another time I was uh, attending a um, actor's equity uh, union meeting at some big old Broadway barn of a theater. And um, there were all these actors, uh, we were all sitting you know, in the audience, um, I, I don't remember who the president of uh, Actors' Equity was at that time. But anyway, they were having a meeting about, you know, uh, benefits and rules and regulations and all of that. And I remember, uh, I think they were talking about housing uh, for actors or accommodations. And this little old black woman from in the back of the uh, theater stood up with this amazing voice. Um, and everybody turned around and it was Butterfly McQueen from Gone with the Wind uh, who played Prissy. She was in her 70s um, and was a housing advocate of, up in Harlem at that time, I think. And... Everybody just stood up and gave her a standing ovation. It was pretty remarkable. Uh, another time I was uh, coming back from a, um anti-nuke rally at the United Nations and I saw this beautiful man coming towards me with piercing blue eyes. And uh, it was Paul Newman who lived at the uh, United Nations complex. Um... Uh, oh, so many celebrities, too, really too many to mention. Um, but I was always starstruck. Um, so there's that. Be fabulous.